All right, why did Shiba Inu pump yesterday? It's a big question, and we're going to unpack it in this video. Make sure you smash the like button and subscribe. What a day we had yesterday, a four-hour live stream. So many people were hanging out with us. Uh, welcome all the new people to the Shiba Inu ecosystem. If you're just finding out about it, uh, this has been uh, something we have seen in the past, right? But what caused the pump yesterday? What actually happened here? And we're going to try to tackle that big question. I think there were multiple things kind of happening at once. We're going to talk about it. There's a really good article out there uh, on the aggregator that we're going to jump into in this video as well. But I want to start over at the charts and just take a look at where Shiba Inu is right now for starters. So we jump into trading view here, and this is where we thought we would see some consolidation in this 15 range. Right now, it's at the 15.73. We are down a little bit here, uh, but we've been as high as uh, the 16.34 recently here today. But it looks like we're trying to find that spot, find that new support. It would make the most sense if we level off somewhere in this 15 range for right now. But if we go back to yesterday and we'll go to the daily chart here and we could see kind of what happened yesterday, right? We had this uh, rising wedge that uh, basically a lot of people were predicting, right? As long as we broke through that 1288, we did have some room to run. And of course, we had a day like this back in June where we just kind of popped and it seemed like out of nowhere, right? We consolidated pretty nicely and then had the big pop yesterday. This looks very similar to day two what happened with Shiba Inu. Now, will it follow this trend and go back up and test these highs again like it did back in June? We'll see. Uh, but right now we're still on day two after the pump. Now, what actually happened? Uh, Shiba Inu, 25% rally caused by this group of investors. And we talked about this a little bit yesterday, but we've got some more data to back it up now. So the most recent Shiba Inu rally it's not an exception. As Sentiment, a uh, great company highlighting uh, you know, on-chain analytics and data, they highlighted the increased activity among whales that produced more than 430 SHIB transactions valued at around $100,000. So I think it starts here, right? It obviously starts here. Now, you do have some excitement around Shiba Eternity. You have excitement around the metaverse and what they've done there with partnering with the third floor. They have also have... Uh, we also have a lot of excitement around just SHIB in general because of Shibarium, but it, there's no doubt the whales played a role here yesterday, right? So according to the activity of large addresses, whales are getting ready for a sudden price and volatility spike as we saw plenty of large purchases and transactions ahead of the pop we saw yesterday. Now, whales have been very active on SHIB for quite some time. And there have been 433 transactions valued at 100K plus, the most in four months. That is coming from sentiment today, that tweet out today. So I think what happened here is obviously the whales can buy in bunches. They can move the chart in a hurry. Then what happens is retail money comes behind it, right? It's that FOMO element, the fear of missing out. Oh my gosh, SHIB is going up. I don't want to miss this. I've got to jump on board as well. So I think we had, obviously, the whales helping us out. And then we had a little bit of a FOMO event, people coming in after the whales and helping drive prices up even further. But, you know, we saw on screen a couple times yesterday during the live stream, just massive, massive candlesticks moving up in the one minute chart. That, to me, is big money, Ethereum whale-type money coming into SHIB uh, as soon as it crossed over a critical zone. And again, a lot of this comes back to the technicals on the chart, right? This was a pattern that a lot of people outlined coming back up to these levels that we saw back in early May. And of course, uh, you know, we'll see kind of where we go from here. We need more data, but I wouldn't be surprised here if we consolidate a little bit. And uh, I would love to have this kind of price action right after that pump, like we saw after the first pump back in late June. So that's what we've got for you. That's what happened yesterday from what we can tell. There hasn't been any big news or big announcements, uh, but that's what we got. Uh, we know the whale activity ramped up. We, we have a good idea that retail money followed behind it. And uh, currently right now in the last month, SHIB is up 54%, still up 37% in the last week. So thank you so much for popping in. Don't forget to smash the like button if you forgot at the beginning before you get out and subscribe to the channel. Let me know your thoughts about all this down below when it comes to SHIB, and I will see you all in the next video.